Well, it's been called the biggest social reform in Germany for 20 years by the country's Labour Minister, Hubertus Heil. Burgergeld, the new system of payments, the new system of benefits for uh, people on long-term unemployment came into force from the start of 2023. It replaces the old Hartz Fear system for those that have been out of work for more than 12 months. What it does is it makes payments for things like rent, heating, water, uh, groceries, also health insurance, and it comes with a monthly uh, standard payment. Now that payment under the new system will be rising from $480 as it was up to around $538. It also sees changes to the amount of money given per child uh, in a family that they somebody is long-term unemployed now that will stand at up to $450 per child up to the age of 18. Now this has been incredibly controversial and it come with some big opposition from the country's opposition. It was the marquee social product, social policy for Olaf Scholz's government but since they've been in power for just over a year it's been incredibly controversial. It's gone backwards and forwards over and over again and has changed multiple times. The Christian Democratic Union and their Bavarian sister party, the Christian Social Union, extremely unhappy with this. Friedrich Merz, who's the leader of the CDU, says that it's a step towards essentially being a, a universal basic income in Germany, while Markus Zoda, who's the head of the CSU and also the leader of the state of Bavaria, described it as socially unjust and unfair. Now, neither of those opposition parties are upset with the raise in the amount of money, the rise in the amount of money that's going to be, be given out. They say that had to change because of the rise in cost of living here in Germany. Uh, but what they're unhappy about is the terms and conditions with which it is given. Um, there is what's been called a six month trust period put into place where people don't have to take jobs that are um, uh, made available to them that are deemed uh, reasonable job offers. Also that they can miss multiple appointments with the job centre um, while not in any form of training. Now that comes with only very minimum uh, restrictions, very minimum sanctions put in place. Previously those sanctions, those cuts in benefits had been much higher. Now there's also been a lot of controversy over the amount of money people can have in the bank and still claim this. It's set now at around uh, $43,000 you can have and still Still get this with an additional $16,000 for each additional person in your household. Um, the opposition have said that's just simply too much money people can have while still claiming this benefit. It makes it unjust for um, people in society to live next door essentially to those uh, that are claiming this while they may be working and paying taxes in order to finance it. We're a long way out from a federal election here in Germany. 2025 is the next time one of those is set to be on the cards. But when it comes round to that time, if I was a betting man, I'd be putting my money on this issue being one of those key issues in which the next election will be fought.